How do I always know exactly when you get off work? I don't know. I'm stalking you. Uh, I am not going to SGDQ, so because of that, I will likely not be on the couch for Phil's MM run. If I if I did go to SGDQ, I probably would. Yeah, just have a laptop on the couch. Get on Skype. Yeah, I got I got banned from GDQ for not registering to go to the event. So now they're not allowing me in. Well, I mean, technically, anyone who doesn't register is banned. So any of you guys that did not register for SGDQ, you are also banned. GDQ is banned from ZFG. Dude, I could totally do that. I could ban GDQ from my chat. <laughs> oh, this reminds me. You guys want to know something I'm actually technically banned from GDQ for? So, you guys know the GDQ Monitor Twitter account? I'm blocked from it. I don't know why, but... GDQ Monitor has blocked me. This was from like 2015 or 2014 or something. It was a long time ago. But uh, yeah, I am blocked from GDQ Monitor. No, Dry did not make me stream today. I told Dry earlier today that I was going to stream. That is why he said that I was going to stream. You think Dry can control me? I control Dry. I, I went on that site once and I watched a streamer playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and he was at Ganon's Castle Collapse, and you know the three minute timer you get uh, when you start the collapse and you have to get out in three minutes? This person did not make it in time. But that's okay, because it wasn't a speedrun, it was a casual, casual playthrough. You're not expected to, you know, be perfect in a casual playthrough. It's okay to make mistakes. In theory, if you could wrong warp to a certain part of the lighter cutscene, the lighter cutscene... Where am I going? At least I noticed that quickly. My file name is bad luck. Do you know how many world records my file name has gotten? My file name might be the most world recording filed name of all time. And yes, true, it also may have the most failed attempts of all time. F does have a higher success rate. F does have a 100% success rate, that is true. But yeah, I can't taint that. I can't... Like, F was used for a very special occasion. I can't use F again. Can I be your new dad? Your parents be beat you because I can't PB. Um, I don't know if I can be your new dad, but uh, you should definitely maybe do something about your parents beating you over something that I am doing or not doing. I don't think that's quite fair to you. Any plans for 420? Doing Ocarina of Time 100% speedruns. What if I get a good PB before 420? Lol. I mean, it is a super good early game, but it's balanced out by the fact that my mid game is pretty mediocre. Speaking of mediocre gameplay... Thanks for 8 months, Kajirobot. Good timing. That was unintentional. Well, you have to make sure it's intentional from now on. From now on, you can only resub when I get Kajiro. Here, what happens if I feed up the Dongo Bomb Chew? Good idea. I'll do that. So you guys know how, uh, you know, the Bomb Dodongos meme and everything. Can't wait to bomb Dodongos or whatever. What if you Bomb Chew Dodongos? There we go. So there's actually two different things that could happen when I do that. One is it crashes. Shocker. Uh, the other one is uh, what can sometimes happen is it doesn't crash, but it prevents anything new from loading. And so like if you enter another room, a bunch of stuff won't be loaded, uh, other doors won't load, and like just it's super weird and stuff just doesn't load properly anymore. Can I use RVA to delete Discord? I wish. Are you serious? How did I miss? I've never missed attacking a jump slashing Selfos. Uh. Let's try that again. Usually the boomerang will like grab the skull to look from the side, but I guess not in that case. I guess I was too far to the side. Remember when this was a good run?
Thanks, guys. Am I at any events this year? I will be at Pace in two weeks. Pace is an event January 25th to 28th. And I will be doing this run there, 100% on Faster Quest. Will I die to Stealthos there too? No. Wait, did I say January? There's no way I said January, did I? I did. <laughs> I'm probably just used to saying AGDQ months, so I said January. I definitely meant April. April 25th to 28th. How much would it hurt to hit a wall doing 18 speed? Uh, I don't know. I think someone, I think I remember someone, like, tried to do some joke math to, like, figure out the speed of a Hess. I think it was something like 40 miles an hour or so. So, like, how bad does it feel to run into a wall at 40 miles an hour? Does this look like 40 miles an hour to you? How accurate do you guys think that is? Uh, I use a GameCube controller because I'm just generally more used to it, and I just generally prefer it. But yes, I do think the control stick is significantly better than... Look at the chest! The chest is in midair! Hello? The mirror shield chest. <laughs> Did anyone else see that? <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Prime sub, by the way. Thanks for the sub, Prime sub, by the way. Wait, did I actually say it twice? <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to say that one in particular twice because of its name. Nice. Thanks for five months, Prezzo. Coming here while Dry isn't here. Oh, never mind. Uh oh. I hope these guys don't get in a fight. Our feet shoes. No. Thanks for three months waste of human effort. Nice. I shouldn't do that. It's not worth it. I hate that I love doing that strat because it's faster theoretically, but I never get it. But I love doing it. How am I today? I am okay. I am always okay. Yeah, I did play OT when I was a kid, but I don't really remember being scared of anything in this game. In fact, I remember Shadow Temple being my favorite dungeon as a kid. I don't know, I guess I was into the edgy, dark edgy stuff. The hover boots were so cool. When I got into speedrunning, the biggest habit I had to break was to stop using hover boots everywhere, because I, I just always used hover boots no matter where I went, because they just seemed like the better boots, but obviously in speedrunning they're bad, since they have sl such low acceleration and everything. So I had a hard time breaking the habit of using hover boots everywhere, just because they were so good, they were so cool. They're bad in casual play as well. Dude, they literally let you fly. What casual doesn't want to fly off the ledge all the time? You used iron boots everywhere. It was hard to break that habit. Oh, really? Interesting. I don't remember ever switching out my mask in casual play for like a different mask. I feel like most casuals... I, I feel like most casuals, one, didn't even complete the mask trade quest, and two didn't realize that you could trade in for different masks, like Oranzora Gerudo Mask. Come on. That was... Seriously? Okay, now I'm resetting. That was not fair. Why do I only stream in 720p? I mean, I probably could stream a little bit higher, but... Anything higher than this is probably not worth it. 721p. The bot a lot, and... Come on. And Nimpies was so cool, dude. Nimpies had so many cool ideas. Oh, I have something to show. I was messing around with Dark Link a little bit. Well, not Dark Link, but Dark Link's room a little bit. I found some interesting stuff I could show off. Okay, so... Let's mess around with Dark Link's room a little bit. There's two interesting things I want to show off. So, you guys know how like I do that trick where I hookshot the door frame on the other side of the room? It works on both sides of the room, so I can do it here too. Put out of bounds here, and go in this room. There's a ledge I can grab here. Oops. I wanted to grab the ledge, not jump off it. So when I grab the ledge, it does this. Because of the mirror image effect in this room.
Tony Hawk hand plant. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. Let me see if it works on lower ledges too. Yeah, same thing. Thumbnail material, nice. Glad I gave you some material dry. Alright, another interesting thing. So there's water here, right? So Dark Link's room has a bunch of water in it. It's, it's like shallow water, so it just has that effect of, you know, walking in water and not actually swimming in it. But of course it actually is water you can swim in. So, I'm gonna clip, clip out here. So let me turn collision view on. So, you know, this is the room, this leads to the room down below with all the vortexes and stuff. So the water still exists. This room is supposed to have water, but this room in particular doesn't have water loaded. But the water from Dark Link's room is still here. And also the currents are still here. Like, you can see how I'm moving. The water current is actually still pushing me the same way. And it clips me through the ceiling because the ceiling has an acute angle at the top. And so the water being up there actually pushes me through the ceiling. So this is closer towards the end of the room. Uh, at this point the water ends because it only extends to the box of Dark Link's room. Oh yeah, also these pits, uh, let me show it over here. These pits don't actually have a void out zone here, they're just like really deep pits that you kind of just get stuck in. Alright guys, anyway, I think that is it. Sorry guys. So thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you later.